We are so fucking back, baby. Let's go! Yeah. 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 Okay, I think I'm a boomer. I think I'm a zoomer. I think I'm a zoomer. Damn, I'm like a zoomer. Okay. E double G W H I T E coming with the heat. I stay fooling with my bot, my tunes are well, my to the grill cast, the only podcast in the whole entire world dedicated Whoa. to radical centrism. I am your Oso Ryan. Joining me as always is Micah. What is up, buddy? It's good to be back, man. It is good to be back. Uh, you know, I want to start off this episode by explaining my absence in a roundabout way yeah. of uh, last week. Probably disappointed a lot of people. They didn't get that Friday dopamine <laughs> hit that they've become reliant upon. Hearing this auditory gold that we lay upon them. I want to start off the show talking about altering your brain with the usage of chemicals. Drugs. Otherwise known as being a degenerate <laughs> drug user. Yes, yes, you got it right there. And, um, you know, throughout my life, I've known plenty of people that they, they, pay, they partake in such activities to reach a new equilibrium, to enhance their lifestyle, you know? Right. And uh, in this in this subculture of enlightened explorers of the mind, there are really two types of people, is what I've found. Those who are into uppers and those who are into downers. So let's start talking about the speed freaks, right? The speed freaks, they'll talk your head off all day, all day about new business ideas, their newest hustle, what they stole from Home Depot the other day, you know, just normal amphetamine enthusiast things. And when I hear them talk about this crap, I, I, I can't help but look down on them. Cause it's one of those things where it's like, you needed drugs to reach this mindset? Right. Really? Right. You and needed drugs? You, you serve as the perfect example against that against that whole that whole idea. Exactly. I, I And I'm glad you recognize that because the reality is Just... for ascended individuals such as myself and you, of course, we don't need drugs to yeah. have our brains and, and... go to the speed of light. Well, can, I, I would I would say so, you know, conversely, that I am a perfect example that you don't need to be barred out of your mind constantly to be the way that I am. <laughs> right, right. And look, like th these these speedheads, you know, the th these amphetamine enthusiasts, uh, the brilliant ideas that they concocted, and they always realize this in the end. They were they're a mirage, an illusion of intelligence and inspiration. It's it's not real, Mike. It's not real. It's a giant fraud. And by the time the sun comes up, they sober up and they regret believing for even a second that they'd be able to reach our lofty heights of intelligence and virtue they know for a fact that they it, it's a vacation for them micah no you're exactly correct it's it, it what it is is it's it's performance enhancing without the performance right right it's performance enhancing but the performance itself is a lie they're nothing but a tourist in the great land of the grind <laughs> set and when they wake up they realize that they're nothing but a phony and a fraud they always realize that you see it the sun comes up you know they're out of blow and they're like oh god what do i just what did i just talk about I'm, for five hours i'm yeah. a retard i'm never gonna think again <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Like, it, and the thing is, for people like me and you, like uppers don't even work on me, bro. I, I, I'll take an upper, like, right? I'll do a line. And I'll be like, you know? oh yeah, wow. I have lots of great ideas. A giantly inflated ego. I want to compulsively masturbate. That, that, that's every day to me, dude. That's my normal grind set. It's no different. You know, for me, when I when I take uppers, it's it's weird. I don't get like I don't have all these like constructive thoughts and like I, I don't get all like proactive i just want to be up high like i want to climb up on top of something and just like stand on top of stuff <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you just want to climb i, I want to literally i want to literally be up i just want to literally be up in the vertical dude, that's sense. fucking base <laughs> yeah i bet if you were a meth head you'd be a fucking menace dude you'd be like you'd take some bitch like king kong and go to the top of the empire <laughs> state building <laughs> like, and that is that is an oh, act that shit. is a factual statement i'm not even i'm not even joking like the couple of times that i've i've done it Amphetamines. I'm just like I want to stand on top of something. I just I just want to be on top of something. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so fucking funny to me, bro. <laughs> but I know I look similarly to me. You're not you're not an uppers guy. You don't you, mm. you don't get a lot out of it because you already have a high performing mind. And 
you know, similarly to the uh, uppers enthusiasts, the downers enjoyer. Similarly, we are tourists, right? Just for just for a few goddamn hours, I'd like to check out and be as stupid as lazy as the average person is. Yeah, I just for a couple hours. I, I would like to not. I would like to stop having thoughts. Okay, I, right. I I think to myself sometimes, you know, in my day to day life, I, I'm having a little bit too much to think today, and, and I, it's I, dangerous. It is. It is having having too much to think is dangerous. You know, you 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 have certain ideas. And maybe you convey those ideas to people. Maybe people don't like those ideas. Maybe you maybe yeah. you hurt pe- you hurt people's feelings. You know, you end up going you end up going to rehab because you had too much to think. Right, and that's the best case scenario. You either go to rehab or you know you you, you crash into the ground. There's no other way because being a 200 IQ giga chad, uh, it, it takes a hard mental toll. You know this, and there, there's no escape from it really. Like it's constant. It's constant. It's eternal. And it, sure, you know maybe you take some damage is and you fucking crash your car into a family of five or you miss doing an episode of the show that you're supposed to host but just for a second you taste the bliss of being as much of a bottom dweller as everyone else is just for a second you taste that and it's so nice is that so wrong to abdicate your responsibilities and check out for a few weeks in a benzodiazepine and liquor fuel dream <laughs> to walk in a mile in the shoes of the average drooling drone is that so wrong micah no i i as someone who is who has experienced that for you know probably half a decade um it was pretty sweet <laughs> It's pretty damn sweet, but you know, you, you have to pay, you know, you have to pay for it at some point, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta wake up from that stupor, you know, that stupid stupor and you gotta start being productive <laughs> eventually. Right. You do. You do. It's not forever. It's a vacation. You're a tourist in, in the mind of the midwit, just, just for a couple days or a few weeks or a few years, you know, but and, and, eventually you got to take the long walk back to the grind. Yeah. Set. Being, being. <laughs> being at the same level of a midwit you know this this drug induced midwitism it, it is not <laughs> it is not an investment that pays dividends no it really isn't you got to take the walk back sometimes and that's okay and speaking you know of uh adderall enthusiasts let's talk about destiny uh, yeah. Streamer, re- centrist streamer Destiny. Uh, that's right, folks. He has been engaged in a cuck off between him and Sneeko, another streamer, two cuckolds. We have a real life cuck off brewing online between these two notorious cuckolds. And it starts like this. Let, let's uh, let's paint a little picture here, shall we? It starts when Destiny shares a picture of Minecraft Steve next to the Kaaba, a Muslim shrine <laughs> in Mecca of grave cultural importance. Look, this is like their place, bro. This is like their thing. This They really like this thing, and this offended a lot of people. Yeah. Particularly Sneeko, who's recently converted to Islam under the tutelage of Andrew Tate. And so, in response to this, Andrew Tate shares a DM that Destiny's whore wife sent him, thus beginning the great cuck-off of 2023. I'll go ahead and share that to the screen now so we can witness it in all of its glory. Orion, where would I be without you to show me all the, the ridiculous shit happening online? I don't know, but <laughs> prob- probably in a lot better of a place, <laughs> but you know, that's okay. It's a lot of fun, oh, isn't it? Oh, no. So here we are. Uh, let me pull it up on my side real quick. His wife, Melina Gorenson, who's a filthy Swede, says, I was wondering if you could help me with something. I really want to start making videos again. It's been a long time. I was wondering if you could help me go through what program you've been using. You're really good. We could make content out of that too, if you'd like. And, you know, anyway, her husband (laughs) is literally like a giant Twitch streamer. Yeah. A giant YouTube guy. Like, this is somebody that could absolutely help her with this. But this is a, a flimsy pretense with which she uses to slide into Sneeko's DMs. He responds saying, sure, I use Adobe Premiere. You know, short and sweet. She's typing paragraphs. He's just a couple words. It could for sure work on a MacBook Air, right? For some reason, my school wanted us all to uh, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Just uh, a, a woman squad yeah. that he yeah. dutifully ignores. And here's the real kill oh, shot. Oh, man. Here's where it gets bad. The emojis, bro. The oh, emojis. Oh, man. So here's the first one. You know, the set of eyes looking to the side like, ooh, what's going on here? And he doesn't respond. He's a busy guy. He doesn't want to deal with this. And so this is where it gets bad. 
<laughs> the first emoji is ignored. Two more emojis. The Stonehenge and the lobster. Now, I think you know, Micah, if a woman's sending you emojis like that, trying to trying to get a, uh, you know, response from you, trying to... This is Get devastating. Something from you. Th this is it's devastating. devastating. Because this is it, because you you know we all know right. This is what this is what females point to and and laugh at when when they're talking about and referring to like men. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she's doing it. She's doing it. She can get away with it because she's a hot woman in an open marriage. So she's not a uh, she's not cringe but for like doing if, this. Yeah. It reflects badly on Destiny. If if you. <laughs> If you if you did this kind of shit and you were a man, like people would be looking at you like you were some kind of fucking child molester. <laughs> like that that is the image that is that that is that is cast upon you when you when you exhibit this type of behavior in in a chat room. That is pure unrequited thirst right there. And you know, he posts this saying, Your wife's in my DMs, little bro, in response to uh <laughs> Destiny's uh whatever islamophobia so destiny responds here saying it, with this tweet here no words just when i'm in a cucked competition and my opponent is sneeko clearly clearly he's lost the battle here they, nobody can say that destiny came back swinging hard he's he, he's hurt i, I don't he's even know i'm i'm not even able to interpret this meme i, I get the like wh wh what is that who is that it, it it's squidward and he's got that no i know i know the face. i know the meme format i'm <laughs> the format <laughs> and that's sneeko there we'll get oh, okay, we'll okay. get into his cuck history because they're both they're both cuckolds avowed cuckolds they may deny it but we as gorillas know the truth and so clearly destiny lost the battle here but uh you know it's important to have historical context for these situations source? as such yeah source source and i do have a source i've gathered video evidence of their unique cuckold cope strategies oh god what are we about to look at oh uh, you'll see bro you'll see it's wild and we're gonna decide once and for all who is the king cuck in this situation who comes out on top really who is the cringe cuck and who is your the favorite king cuckold cuck cuck in the comments below and so we'll go ahead and start off with Destiny, right? And uh, when you call Destiny a cuckold, as many, 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 many people do, <laughs> this is usually the first video that you're directed towards. So I'll just go ahead and pull that up for our viewing pleasure. Sorry, Spotify. Nibu. I'm in a poly relationship. The reason why I'm in a poly relationship is because I don't give a fuck if my girlfriend goes and fucks another guy because I know she's coming back to me at the end of the night. Because we love each other. Because I'm a cool fucking person. I'm I know cool. that. If I'm not gonna, if I'm not gonna gatekeep the fuck out of who my girlfriend uh, fucks, do you think I'm gonna chase you around? Oh man, that one's rough, bro. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, she, yeah. I she let, comes home to me with a pussy full of cum. Yeah, dude. I I let my girlfriend fuck other guys because I'm like cool and not gay. So. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> gatekeeping her pussy yeah. from other men's cum. Uh, come on, brother. That obviously that's a huge cope. You know, I'm I'm a cool. Well, Ryan, guy. you know they, you know they might be wearing a condom. So yeah, that's technically true. they'd be gatekeeping. You know, wearing a condom is even more cucked than letting somebody fuck your girlfriend. Let's be oh real here. <laughs> It's uh, at least similarly. Well, it's neither here nor there. You won't catch me doing that. Couldn't be me. And so, you know, clearly, that's pretty hard to cope. That's pretty devastating. That's pretty bad there. But, uh, you know, he gets fed up with people constantly, always, forever, coming to him with accusations of being a cuckold. And as such, Well, they're not, they're not really accusations so much as they are statements. <laughs> they, but, it's not but, accusations yeah. so much as it is the truth. Right. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, if, if you call Destiny a cuckold, this is what he thinks of you. This is his cope to deal with that. Why, actually, you're the cringe one for thinking that. Every guy that uses cuck as an insult, secretly, when he goes to bed at night, he pulls out from behind his pillow a massive fucking shiny gold-plated butt plug, and he shoves that shit up his ass after sucking and lubing that shit up, and he fucks himself in his ass, constantly dreaming about other men shoving their dicks as deep into his fucking asshole as possible. And then after he fucking lets loose the biggest, juiciest, thickest fucking load he can over his bulging fucking roid-infused gut, he cries himself. So to sleep. 
because he wishes he could actually have men fuck his ass as much as he dreams about. But since he can't actually do that, all he does is he runs around online all day screaming, cook, 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 dreaming and fantasizing about the steamy fucking cock they wish they could take in their ass every night. I've never in my life heard a bigger projection of insecurity than people that obsess over other people's relationships. It is the biggest fucking loser fetish I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Guaranteed. So every red pillar guy that you've ever heard say that wants to take it up the ass constantly. He dreams about it and he lets loose the biggest loads, the most potent viral fucking sperm in his life that has ever less <laughs> left his fucking testicles. He's done so on the thought of another man fucking his ass. Okay. Everybody that uses cock as an insult does that. So whoever said that to Nick, they want to take it up the ass. Guaranteed. No judgment on them, by the way. I mean, if that's what you're into. Oh, that's no, what judgment. You're into but no judgment. No judgment. Yeah, no judgment. Totally judge. fine. Actually, that's, that's totally cool. That's totally fine. I, I uh, like so it it's when not people really an are insult. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just spent a whole minute describing how super Angrily. gay they are. But actually, <laughs> that's, that's actually totally cool. Yeah. Angrily describing it. You know, like the most virul. The, the most virulent <laughs> homophobe. It, I, I like it when. Can you imagine? Who are, can you imagine someone doing that? <laughs> Just imagine what kind of a disgusting, horrible. And yeah. I like I like the chat saying "cuck rage, cuck rage." I like it when people who are clearly projecting themselves. Like Dustin is, you know, he's a self-admitted well, yeah. uh, bisexual it's... man who's had gay experiences. Yeah. So when he goes around being like, "Oh, you know what they do? People who insult me by calling me a cuckold. Actually, they're the gay ones. Well, you, actually, they're gay." You, you do know the old saying, uh, "Let uh, he he who projects the first fart or." Never, I got that wrong. He Never mind. smelt it, dealt it. Yeah, basically. that one. Yeah. And he smelt being gay. And he dealt being gay. I mean, we can all agree upon this. And it gets worse, bros. It gets worse, my grill is. It's hard. It's hard to be Destiny and deal with this sort of thing because his whore wife will literally embarrass him in public. Will literally take... Like, he clearly is very conflicted about this. It hurts him on a deep human level. He knows that it's wrong in his head. He's tried to fax and logic his way out of it and say, no, actually, you're gay. I'm not gay. But I'm going to show this video to... Uh, I I, I want to I want to put out there just how hard this really hits him at the end of the day. So I'll go ahead and put that on. English, no, I was doing the cap. Look, get in front of the cap. There's his horror. Give him a little kiss on the cheek. I, th I think I, I was about to put some after. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not okay with it. Ew, you licked it. <laughs> Who licked somebody's okay. face? That's me. That's me. That's me. What? She just licked his face. That's okay. You're getting cut. I mean, let's be real. That's okay. <laughs> well, let's be real. That's okay. Look at the look in his eyes. Look at the look in his eyes when he's on camera. They're dead. They're hollow. They're of a broken man. That's rough, bro. That is fucking rough. Yeah. On camera. That's not even private. That's not keeping it in the bedroom. That's just her whoring out right there. Right in front of him. He says, I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay. No, it's okay, bro. He's so conflicted. Inside him, there are two wolves. But the <laughs> testosterone that he has, it, it's been so shoved down deep, deep so into his he, gullet. He, 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 yeah. No, when he, when he's actually faced with the, um, the gravity of his of his situation uh his instincts kick in a as you see here his instincts kick in of course when he's when he's alone when he's by himself when he's in his and he he's in his hug box he can he can say all the things and and espouse all the platitudes about polyamory that he wants to but when faced with the reality of the the arabian giga chad you know <laughs> Getting, you know, receiving the saliva of his e-girl when he has to stand there in between it, you know, nature, nature kicks in and, you know, he's just he, for he's, a second. Yeah, just for a second. And then he goes immediately deny, deny. No, 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 no. I wasn't. No, I, I wasn't upset. I wasn't upset at all. I wasn't it's, upset. It's all, totally fine. <laughs> it, it, you can see it's like a, a light flickering on a sign for like a fast food restaurant or for just a second. <laughs> you can see like a, a, a piece of humanity in him, but it instantly drains when he realizes, wait a minute, I'm not being consistent. I'm not being consistent. And this is this is a problem yeah. with Destiny's facts, oh, and my, logic yeah, model, the facts and logic with which yeah. he lives his life. No, because his facts and logic model is completely different from ours. And, and the problem with the uh, adhering to a so-called like evidence-based ideology all the time, leaving no room for instinct, 
Uh, evidence-based ideology, facts, and logic, this stuff, they're tools. They're tools which are important to forming a cohesive worldview. But they're easily abused to convince yourself of any insane notion. You know what I mean? Like, oh, oh, if you think about it, sex is just an act between animals for pleasure. Why should I be possessive or let it bother me? Why why should I gatekeep my girlfriend's it doesn't or my ma- wife's yeah. pussy it doesn't from matter. being filled with a stranger's cum? It does bother you. It doesn't like clearly none of that on a matters. deep level. Yeah. Clearly on a deep level, it really bothers him. And I don't question it. He's letting himself craft narratives that eschew the light of God and basic <laughs> human nature. He's deluding himself that somehow he's evolved above it. That he's above these uh these very human emotions. But he's clearly I not. Mean, it, yeah, that's that's the other thing. It would be one thing if he like legitimately did not feel uh, you know, did not feel those feelings that you know you're just describing. Um because I'm sure that exists. You know, there's people out there who 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 are like fucked up in the head and don't really don't feel one way or the other. But if you do right. you have you have to be cognizant, you know, of uh of your true your true feelings about that kind of stuff. Yeah, and clearly he's suppressing it deep down. He's probably going to kill his whore wife someday. <laughs> Looking forward to that arc. But uh sorry, my cat's spazzing out. If you hear that in the background, that is my cat spazzing out, literally climbing on my wall like a fucking Spider-Man. But um anyways, I have one more destiny clip here. Uh, he, where he talks about, you know what? He, he he says, even if I was a cuckold, even if this is true, I'm not. I'm not a cuckold. I'm not gay. But even if I was, let's hear how he copes with this uh, theoretical position he finds himself <laughs> yeah. in, which is actually his daily lived reality. Your argument against Republicans is have is have as much patience as a cuck who lets his wife fuck other dudes who does politics. That's literally a God level of patience. You are correct. Practically unachievable. Come on, bro. The fact you think that someone needs such a high level patience to engage with leftists and the left, which make you a gay cuck can't do. Fuck off. It's not the Republican party. You understand that even if I was a cuck, you are literally below a cuck right? You are farther from <laughs> pussy than even a fucking cuck is, right? Like, you are actually the literal cuck. At least, like, an actual literal cuckold has a woman that will fuck guys in front of them. You're the cuck that's watching women fuck other people on porn, because that's the thing as close to a woman as you'll ever get. You incel fucking virgin fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Look at how fucking mad you are. Oh, you're a fucking cuck, Destiny! Yeah, yeah, he says mad. as he rubs out his seventh fucking cum shot of the day to the 250 fucking OnlyFans accounts that he subscribed to with mommy and daddy's fucking allowance. Get the fuck out of you, pathetic fuck. It's kind of amazing. The only signs you see in of life in Destiny, like he does these streams and it's he's like, just checked out the whole time. He's dude. just playing Factorio, <laughs> fucking like. But when this happens, like there's a little T spike there. He's a human again. He has anger and rage. He's a man again. He, he's in a he's in a Discord uh, tier list. Uh, you know, a, dis- a Discord tier list uh, video where they've got like hit, like they've got him at the bottom of the tier list. So he just he adds a new tier to the list. <laughs> exactly, buddy. Exactly. I, this is his argument. Okay, maybe I am a cup, but at least I get to slurp the cum out of my wife's asshole at the end of the night. You don't even get to do that, bud. You whack off to porn, guy I don't know and who left a fucking chat on my <laughs> uh, on my stream. Guy who I know nothing about. You're probably an incel and probably don't have sex at all. And, you know, if you're faced with it, what choice do you choose? Do you slurp cum out of a horse weed? <sighs> yeah. Or do you... Or do you just load up some fucking porn and go, whatever, bro? Like, oh well, yeah, it it kind of displays like a certain level of weakness, I guess, because that's that really is the that that really is the um the crux of of his circumstance is like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm getting cucked, but I still I have access to this to this vagina, so like, right, you're you're gonna call this man weak for not having access to a vagina, but like your your vagina is conditional. Can you have exactly? You, you you can't have that pussy without sharing it. So somebody could yeah. make somebody could make the exact same like conditional argument against you. You know, it's like it's it's not it's not a huge fucking mental dub. Uh, you know no, what, what he's it's not. Yeah, what he's pulling out of his ass. I mean, I guess somebody could be of the opinion that getting that getting uh, pussy conditionally is 
a win, but I, I just don't, I don't really believe in that myself. Well, look, everybody gets pussy conditionally, right? Like you have to take them out to dinner. You have to listen to their problems. You know, you have to do all this shit that we have to do. We, we, you know, well, people yeah, in general, we, we're, there's a little give and take, right? But yeah. that's, that's so beyond the pale. It's so yeah. different, but and he knows that in his heart, as we've demonstrated, he knows it's wrong, but he's logic himself into thinking that, well, yeah, I'm getting it, you know, used, torn up, you know, someone else literally busted a load down her throat like three hours ago but that's fine that's cool yeah has he, has he ever considered like oh yeah might well you know at the end of the day she you know after fucking the bull she's coming back home to me and she's fucking me yeah dude you're you're a fucking rich twitch streamer with with mad <laughs> clout a home amenities fucking vacation vouchers to hand out to this this fucking whore wow oh my god she's coming back to you yeah oh you're right you're right destiny that is that is really valuable that is that is Bro, extremely he valid he literally abandoned his only son his only child is spawn he abandoned his son in a nebraskan cornfield said all right we're playing hide and seek count to 500 and then dipped out to california so he could be with this whore who's taking loads instead of being with his son yeah. uh, how cucked is that bro your own spawn just eschewing that to be with this I, it's it's rough bro it's rough but um you know i think i've pretty Sneeko convincingly I, I yeah i pretty convincingly showed that destiny is a cuck but sneeko you know people are probably a little less familiar with him but he has a different style of cuckoldry and i just i, I want i want to say real quickly before we move on it it really does sadden me in a genuine way uh to see you know de to see destiny like this and you know to to be made aware that he was always a false prophet of centrism and you know all all his all his based and grill pilled uh and you know adderall induced you know uh stances and his argumentative nature and his ability to you know ar argue against both sides it's it's prefaced on 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 what uh, being a cuck yeah yes. that's that's the ultimate hill that he's he's willing to die on it is and it's because he's a centrist and not a radical centrist my grill is if there's any difference that i could show here if there's something that highlights the difference between centrism and radical centrism it's this you know he's rhetorically effective he does his little arguments and oh you know he talks faster than you so he's smart or something but at the end of the day he's a cuckold something the radical centrist community would never accept and as far as Sneeko goes, he has he has a different style of cuckoldry. Uh, it's kind of like how in Naruto they have different types of like uh, I don't know what it's called like sh shonen or something. They have different types of attacks, right? You know, jutsu, uh, jutsus, jutsus. That's yes. right. They have jutsus. different jutsus. They're they're all ninjas. You know, they're all it, it, both of these guys are cucks, but they have a different approach to it. So let's go ahead and start off with our first video of Sneeko saying that cuckoldry is actually made him stronger. You watched another guy have sex with your girlfriend. That's weird, and you can call us all insecure. No, it was weird. It was weird. But I'm glad that I went through that, because I think it made the bond that I have with my girl a little stronger. You know, it helped me get over, like, now the threat of that happening of her cheating, fucking someone else. It doesn't really, like, eat away at me anymore the same way after seeing that. I'm kind of glad I saw that, because I think it, like, built up and made my insecurities, like, a little bit... It bit, built calluses around my insecurities. Uh, like, fucking excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't I don't have to worry about my girlfriend fucking another guy because she did it right in front it's of like, me. It's like watch. ripping off a band-aid. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like ripping off a band-aid, you know? Fuck, dude. Or getting that How? really big zit on your back and just like finally popping it and then you don't have to deal <laughs> with the pain anymore. The soreness on your back. It's gone and there's white stuff everywhere. Bro, like this is th these guys like it happens to them. They allow it to happen to them and then they have to cope with it in some way. They have to make it a dub somehow. Actually, it made me stronger. Actually, I'm not going to gatekeep this relationship. Actually, it's a good thing because this or that. Like, dude, you're saying you don't have to worry about her taking another dick because she took another dick in front of you. What yeah, are you talking it's about? It's almost bro? it's almost like what they is this? It's almost like they derive some position of authority from the fact that they that they like oversaw it happening. They 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 approved of it. Like, as long I I I I notarized this this bull sesh 
It is <laughs> it is approved by the proper authorities, and uh, therefore I am not. I I shall feel no shame. <laughs> it's rough, bro. It's rough, and he he talks big. He talks a big game, right? He talks like, oh, this was this made me stronger, and actually we love each other more than ever now, and actually I'm so much better because of this. But uh, in this next video, he kind of contradicts that statement. Oh, hold on. Wait, Wait, how close times. was it? That he, he, we were on the same bed. I was with his girl. He was with my girl. You like, was right here. on the bed. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> so what? Did, what did I, I couldn't like. It was. I was literally having PTSD watching that. I was like having war flash. <gasps> <gasps> like I just. So did, that, did that get you out of oh, your cheating ways? What position? No. It was missionary. <laughs> missionary no. legs up. It like, was missionary legs, legs up. up. Legs up. Yeah. Oh no! That's such an oh no! So was he staring at her like in her eyes? Like deep eye contact. Oh no! Deep uh. eye contact. The room, like her and the couple, like we're like, all right, let's switch. Like it's last. So I got this girl on top of me, and she's, I don't know, yo, I'm just not. And my girl's right here, and she's like, eh, and I'm like, oh, yo, I'm like, like feeling traumatic thoughts, like seeing her with another person it, lots, I th but I think it's something everybody should do just to test oh, like, no! you know what you know what no! I think you should I may smack a nigga I, I said the same shit before it's gonna be a mess Black King Hippo had the right reaction there. Oh no, 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 like they both. Okay, Destiny and Sneeko, they both smash other women, right? But Sneeko does it with his girl also getting piped in the same room. He, he looks deep yeah. into her eyes as she's getting yeah. fucked by another guy, and he 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 says he doesn't enjoy it. Like he said he didn't even enjoy the woman he was having sex with. He's like, she's on top of me, and oh, I'm like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like yeah, oh, but I'm also having PTSD. Does it sound like? his fucking girl also felt the same way and didn't enjoy it because she was moaning she was having a great time and he made deep eye contact with her she was getting piped that's fucked that is so fucked <laughs> does he enjoy the humiliation because he keeps going to these fucking swinger parties this isn't an isolated incident he keeps doing it he doesn't act like he enjoys it he just says oh you know i have ptsd i'm having war flashbacks like i mean I you know I feel like he's 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 reached this point where there's you you can't turn back now. Yeah. Now that you've already co-signed, you, you've already co-signed onto this activity, like these activities. And if you if there's you go no back on it now, back. you're gonna be a you're gonna be a you're gonna be a cuck squared. <laughs> you're cucking your own i like your own ideological stance or precedent. Right. Because if he does that, then it's like, well, we did this. My girl got piped. I hated it. Now I'm single. I, I, and like, I'm, eternally I'm admitting a that I if pretended I, not to regret it. Yeah, yeah. If I, if I come out of this saying that it actually made me stronger and I'm still a based alpha Chad red pill, bro, then you know what? I actually win. Actually, that's a good thing. That's great. That that's rough, bros. That is really rough. And well, I'm, um, I'm glad. I'm really glad that at least um you know cuckoldry has such bipartisan support. <laughs> Yeah, that's In 2023. true. Sneeko's like an Andrew Tate rightoid. Destiny is like a center left, like fucking, you know, but but both sides. That's the that's the hallmark of the wing cuck, is that some centrist Chad Bull is gonna come in and pipe your wife right, <laughs> and then you're just gonna cope with it and be like, Well, actually, I'm yeah, the, smart for doing this. Yeah, the centrist actually. the centrist Chad is going to come over and, and bull down your wife, go home and have a normal rest of his day. Meanwhile, you're going to pretend like everything's fine <laughs> and rant about, you know, uh wing cuck politics on your Twitch stream. Everything's fine. I'm going to talk wing cuck politics. I have PTSD, but actually I'm stronger <laughs> for having PTSD. Come on. I, I ran this by Andrew Tate. He said everything's going to be fine. Everything's cool. <laughs> it's actually extended my life uh, going through this process. It's <laughs> expanded my mind. Watching your wife get piped down by a centrist Chad is basically like getting a shot of adrenochrome if you think about it. Like, <laughs> I'm actually way better off now. And so I have one last video. This one's a bit longer. We might quit it out. Uh, halfway through he's on the down bad podcast you know you know you're fucked if you're on i've, I've never heard of this show before other than doing yeah. this prep if you're on a show called the down bad podcast oh that's rough bro that is rough so here we go you cannot force her to do anything because the better thing if you really want monogamy you really don't want your girl to fuck other bitches you can't make her you can't tell don't tell her to unfollow anyone don't tell her to block anyone just explain to her what it is 
explain it to her, tell her how you're gonna treat her differently, but don't ever be insecure like they do. Don't be like, can you please unfollow her? Right. It literally just builds animosity and resentment and she's gonna do it anyway. So don't do that. Just let her, you can say, fuck whoever you want. Okay. Go ahead. So, okay, so, so at how about this, call. Nico? How about if, you, if you're dating a girl and she's a whore, how about you just dump her ass and get another girl? <laughs> oh no, th there's no other option than letting her get piped down by another guy. Yeah, there is, get out, run, yeah, go. No. You didn't know that, dude? Yeah, all, all girls, all all girls are like that. You didn't know that? And that's part of that's the poison of the red pill ideology, right there. Is like literally every single woman is a dirty, disgusting whore who wants to choke yeah. down gallons of semen. So you just have to enable that because that's like that's the ultimate. Uh, that that that's the end point, right? That's the final conclusion you reach. If they're all like this, what are you gonna do? Just never smash again? You're just never gonna have anybody to well, like just, cook you're, food you're, and you, like you can't do anything but be a cock. He's basically saying, like, you damned if you do, damned if you don't, you're a cuck no matter what. But yeah. that's that's a you know, that that that's that's a it's not accurate. I <laughs> Horseshoe theory once again. He had too much to think, and now he's been led down this path of, well, I'm just gonna let my girlfriend have sex with other men in front of me and make deep eye contact because I can't stop it from happening. Which is like, just don't, just if you don't, if you're not comfortable with that, again, again, back to what I was saying before. If that's if you're like cool with that shit, then yeah, fine. But if you're not, like, stop. Why are you? Why are you putting yourself through this? <laughs> we know you're not okay with it. <laughs> Clearly not. Clearly not. You have to come up with these coping you said, strategies to I make have it okay. PTSD. Fuck. I was having <laughs> PTSD. I don't know if you all know what that means. That's post traumatic stress uh, disorder. And it is an uh, indicator knew that. of severe severe mental trauma. <laughs> As the as the as the Gen Zers on TikTok call it, uh, and it's not good. It's generally not not good. No, if you have PTSD, you're down bad. Yeah, you're down bad, and you inflict it on yourself, and you continue to inflict it on yourself. It's incredibly cringe. I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the rest of this play out, but that just bugged me so bad, bro. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about, you fucking retard? He's right. Have you? Has there been another case of like you saw her fucking other guy and you were okay with it? Yeah, that, there's this one couple there in their like 40s. Uh -huh. um, like I fucked his wife, like his wife gave me, and they, I, they're cool, cool people. Right. That's an example of like when it, there's like men have this thing. It's like I'm gonna take your bitch. Right. This like possessive thing. Right. They, there's some people that I've seen at multiple parties. They're they're great people, bro. Yeah. I, like just, I also just want to remind the audience that this, that this is one of the yeah, best. The this is one of the best there. defenders out there of the white race. Ugly, like, and not ugly, but like <laughs> it's like eh, I don't need it. I, I can. Eh. That's why I like fucking other bitches because it, like I can fuck a bad bitch. Bad bitches right. don't really go to the swinger parties right, except right. with their man. It's not the you know. And I was you know I've been fucking ugly chicks. Bad bitches don't go to these parties. Did it turn you on? No, not at all. No. The whole time it's like, man, this fucking whore, bro. Look at her. <laughs> Disrespectful. Uh, really? But no, and I, I'm not, I, I have no cuck. I have no cuck. Yeah, part clearly of me, not. Okay. Okay. Nah. Like, people call me that because I go to the swinger party yeah, for real, bro. Like, the shit literally, I had to, like, I got, like, PTSD, like, nightmares okay. about the shit. Oh, for I can real. imagine. Yeah. yeah for, I got, after the first time seeing that, yeah. like, I had literally had nightmares. <laughs> I, there's no part of me that takes pleasure of it. The reason I tried that I do that and people misconstrue that on the podcast was to get over the jealousy. Right. Because if you think about it, there is no reason really why I should feel scared that my girlfriend is fucking other people. There is no real, the fear is that she's going to leave you to go to another person. Okay, but so I want, I need to pause this again. Uh, there, she's gonna leave me for another person. Yeah, that's cucked, bro. Like, if you think your girl's somebody who's gonna leave you for another guy, dump that bitch, dude. She's gone. She's for the streets. I don't. She's trash. You don't just <clears throat> say, "Yeah, you can go. Pi you can get piped by another dude because you're gonna do it anyway." It's like, what the what the I, fuck I is I, this? I also, I really don't like this argument of like, well, there's just not, you know, there's not a facts and logic pilled, you know, reason for me to not, you know. For, for me to not want her to fuck other 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 people and it's like well <laughs> yeah yeah i guess i guess so but i mean d why why does there need to be i mean have has have any of you out there or ryan have you ever had a like a thing or like a toy that you just you really loved and you really liked that thing and you just you know it's yours and you don't want to you don't want other people fucking with it yeah absolutely and it doesn't it doesn't have to be something that you put your dick in but it's just a, <laughs> it's just a personal thing that you feel strongly about 
And f- for whatever reason, you know, mysticism or otherwise, voodoo fucking magic, you know, people have that feeling about other people. And, you know, it's transferable between people and their possessions and anything else. It's that's just that that is what it, it is what it is. You you don't you don't have to like search for a reason, you know, you don't have to think about it that hard. Like again, too much to think. Yeah, you can just be like, no, that's fucked up. That's wrong. It's giving me PTSD and literal yeah, nightmares. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not endorsing I mean, granted, this. You're out of here. Yeah. He's not even banging like he's like, there's no bad bitches at these swinger parties. So he's he he's fucking these old whores. These fucking like forty year old moms. Yeah, you know, there's I, I you know, thinking about it, reconsidering my what I just you know, the analogy I just made, it it, it <laughs> between people it must be a lot fucking worse because you know, I didn't I didn't have PTSD when people played with my Game Boy when they did when I didn't want them to. <laughs> yeah you're just like dude come on you hurry up asshole, hurry that's up. my game boy you know i was like <laughs> oh, oh, nightmare hurry nightmare. up and beat misty so i can get my game boy back right yeah, yeah. they they didn't come on my game boy and give it back to me yeah. that, that was never an end result of me being in that situation <laughs> <laughs> all right well we'll let this continue at the end of the day sex is just an action it really is right like you there attach all these emotions and connections to it yeah. but it, it so if you can separate an that and get over that fear gives me night and she sees me do that <laughs> and allow that to happen then she's gonna understand but she's getting fucked do, do you feel like you could maybe find some cuck tendencies in here to maybe like enjoy a little bit more? <laughs> nah bro i'm not a cuck no, no. <laughs> I feel like if you if you start going to more swinger parties and you're like, oh, maybe this is kind of hot that you get fucked like. Yeah, this. you know this what actions hot. I take I, to I experience take absolutely nightmares? Absolutely, pleasure from that. Yeah. Benadryl. Really? You don't think you, you would ever? <laughs> you think I do? Uh, I mean, I'm just saying. I really it, don't. You might actually enjoy that a little bit nah, more. And there's, I don't like dudes, bro. I like, they, I don't want to see dick. But period. yo, but you're seeing a girl bro. getting. Fucked. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to see like dick. Period. Like what I hate about swinger parties, I'll tolerate it to like for the open relationship. Uh-huh. I just hate balls. I hate dick. I don't like men, bro. Men are gross and annoying, bro. Like seeing them, especially in their sexual, like, like men, like when they're horny, look like, uh, yeah, yeah. They look hungry, yeah. and it's just like, ew, bro. Yeah. And we'll go into a sex party, like something I always have to get over, like, because a lot of times like, there's a bar and it looks like a club, right. and we'll walk in and are they naked? Is there no, no, no? A lot of times, so, generally no. But like seeing the looks from men looking at my girl, like, yeah, uh, hungry is not oof. Don't like that. You don't like that. Ah. Uh. I don't like it so much that I keep doing it and then talk about it in detail on many podcasts. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck is this? Does he has to enjoy the humiliation? Like his insistence. I'm not a cuck, bro. I'm not a cuck. I'm a red pilled alpha Chad like Andrew Tate. This is like him having like imagine him with a kid. This would be like the equivalent of the OnlyFans mom. (laughs) <laughs> yeah as far as really like schoolyard is. bullies are concerned like this is a disservice to your future children what you're doing here like don't don't project this shit online yeah I don't, uh... yeah keep it to yourself keep it in the bedroom like seriously dude like, like and that w- that's what makes me think he has to get off on it why else would he be talking about it often often this isn't like a one-off like oh i accidentally slipped up on a stream and said something i shouldn't he's having full-ass interviews by some asian guy trying to be like no no, but no, like dude, seriously, this, bro, no, you are this... you are like a bit of a cuck, right? Like you have to. Like, there's no other explanation. Here. He's sto- you're, he's you're stock like he's fucking stockholming himself. I don't I don't even know what to. I I don't know like, how you would like psychoanalyze what the fuck is going on. I feel like being a cuck and being so like uh, dishonest about it and being so like internally conflicted. I think that's even more cucked somehow than just being a guy that's like, yeah, I like watching my wife get railed. Right. I feel like the, it may, it's even more cucked somehow. And so uh, that's the last clip I have of that. And so to you, the viewers, I, I would I would say this. Like, D- Destiny, you know, on the outside, he seems less affected by it. You know, he doesn't say that... Uh, he, do- he doesn't straight up say that it gives him internal turmoil, right? But about his wife's sexual exploits. Uh, he doesn't talk about her sexual exploits or who she's fucking or, you know, watching her take dick and looking her in the eyes. And this is something that's probably calculated. He's much more of a, like, put-together guy. Much more of a, uh... He, he, he's more mindful of what he's saying because he's probably smarter than Sneeko, who's a mutt. And there, there, but there Jesus are times. Christ. I'll probably edit that out. But there yeah. are times <laughs> where he breaks. 
there, there are times where he breaks. You can watch Destiny break. Clearly, it's not like some wonderful arrangement that he's found himself in that he loves all the time. Like these polyamorous people, these polycules, they always come with such internal turmoil. And fuck, dude, it, it's hard to see. Like, like you said earlier, they've had too much to think and they dupe themselves into this lifestyle that buck breaks them. It's insane. Man, this is a very black pilled episode here. <laughs> it really is. It's Jesus rough, Christ. Dude. And so, to you, the viewer, to my gorillas <laughs> out there, I ask you this. Okay, who is the king cuck Wojak, and who is the cringe cuck Soyjack? Who came out on top? Who is the most cringe cuck out of these two very obvious cuckolds? And I would ask you to please let us know in the comments what you think, because I'm at a loss here, my gorillas. I don't, they're both so bad. It's so rough. It's so hard to see. I, I don't know how to rank it. I, 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 I don't know what, what more to say. So, sorry, I, I was just still speechless. Uh <laughs> It's was... rough, bro. I think I've said that probably like a hundred times. This episode. <laughs> it's, it's it rough. is rough. It's rough. It's rough. Like, how could you put yourself through that? I don't understand. Just like I the never bull will... on their wives. <laughs> <laughs> rough. Exactly. Rough. Rough and rowdy. And look, uh... you know, that's rough. I, but I'll never find myself in this situation because I'm a radical centrist king. And so are our supporters at thegrillcast.gumroad.com. They'll never find themselves in this situation because they're certified pay chads. These are people who are listening <laughs> to our esteemed bonus content that you cannot find anywhere else. We just recently did the slur tier list where we ranked yeah, we sure every did. slur out every there. Every single one. Yep. Look them and up. Look. I, I have a, a I have a little bit of an internal conflict about that because um you know it's it's one of those things where I was recorded saying the hard R and using all these slurs and you know just being real wild and I'm just conflicted about that. I feel bad because I feel like I could have done better if I wasn't so hungover. You know, yeah. I feel like I could have I feel like I could have done a little bit better. It, it's rough, bros. It's rough, but it is what it is. So if you want to check out that our bonus episode we have at least one bonus episode a month coming out on there usually two we had two last month that's pretty good you know and for as low as five dollars a month you can check that out and with that we will move on to our final segment donald trump donald trump's coming Don. back bros again he, he's coming back with a fury look i i thought he was asleep that he wasn't sleepy uh, don Sleepy Don, I didn't think he had the cognizance to, you know, be an effective rhetorical candidate. I didn't think that he had it in him anymore. I thought he had aged out of it. But he's recently put out a few videos where he lays out his new policies for 2024. He actually has a platform. Yeah. He has a platform. A real he's going to green new worlds. He's going to, he's totally <laughs> going to do he's it gonna too. He's going to green new worlds. <laughs> He's going to green new worlds. Look, he's going to do it. You elect him this time and he's going to fucking bring us to the stars, baby. So I'll start off with our first one where Trump takes on the trans question. He takes it on full force and we'll see what he has to say about that. I will ask Congress to pass a bill establishing that the only genders recognized by the United States government are male and female and they are assigned at birth. Uh, the bill will also make clear that Title IX prohibits men from participating in women's sports, and we will protect oh the rights God. of parents from being forced to allow their minor child to assume a gender which is new and an identity without the parent's consent. The identity will not be new, and it will not be without parental consent. Okay. Bros, I have really bad news for everybody here. Look, a lot of us, we're, we're plugged in. We understand what's going on in the world. And uh, trans discourse has been something that's been, you know, popping off for the last couple of years a little bit. Yeah. If you're, if you're plugged in, you're seeing this. And unfortunately, you know, we all want it to go away. We don't want to keep talking about trannies 24 fucking 7. But that's 2024. That's 2024. It's Donald Trump against whoever the fuck the Democrat is. And they're just going to be talking about trannies and woke culture the whole time. Oh, dude, the trannies. Oh, the trannies. Oh, no. Uh, I, have to, I have to focus my whole mind and all of my thoughts on 0.01% of the population. Dude, just do what every other normal person does. 
and you just see a trans person and you think in your head, oh, ignore. that's kind of gross. And, and, and you, you ignore. ignore it and you <laughs> keep walking. Just do it. Why are you building your whole identity around this? Why are you building your whole platform around fucking trannies? I don't want to talk about them anymore. I don't care if some dude wants to put on a fucking dress and be cringe. Okay? And look, everybody's, oh, dude, the trannies, the trannies, oh. And they're always going off about male to female trannies. It, like, everybody talks about them like they're the big problem. They're not the big problem. That's a guy yeah. who chopped his penis off. He's not reproducing. <laughs> no longer a threat. Threat neutralized. No longer a threat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Threat neutralize them. Like that's fine. It's the uh, female to male trans trans people, right? Okay, look, check what this out. Him? Check this what's, out. What's this? So they can still have children. They still have children, and you know what they do to these children in the womb while they're carrying child? They're injecting testosterone. They're right. injecting testosterone that's going straight to their fucking babies' brains. So their 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 children are going to be born Ugg hulking brains. masses. Yeah. Ugg brains. They're going to be the fighting force that they use to take over the world. Everybody's all like, oh, what about these male to female tra trans people going into women's restrooms? No. In fucking 10 years, there's going to be these roided out fucking children. <laughs> and they're going to kick your asses if you don't use the right pronoun. Just, uh, and there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it. I just had kind of a sad thought. Um, I feel like there's... <laughs> I feel like there's a group of people who would get offended by me saying that female to male trans are the real femboys. <laughs> they would. And it's uh, uh, <laughs> it, it's those people that are like, oh, they're taking the tomboys away. They're taking the tomboys away. Like, shut up, dude. Really? You, you, you want a tomboy? That's, uh, that's what like, you want? No, it's just like there's enough. there are enough femboys out there to form like a pro-femboy advocacy group for people who mistake female to male trans as being femboys. Dude, female to males actually... Okay, they, they like pass a I lot think, better than, they do. than male I, to female, they do. but they pass as like soy manlets, you know? Like round face blob people that are like, yeah, I guess you're a guy because you can grow facial yeah, hair. Yeah, no, it's like, not... You, it's not the, it, it's not the ones who already have like masculine features no or i guess like the Never. the chis the chiseled face and and you know bro, they, they always are like more round faced You're it's the amorphous right block am people yeah they're like yeah that's that's probably just a schlub schlubby guy yeah exactly you yeah, know that's probably but, a guy know. who hasn't felt a woman's touch in like yeah. 20 yeah, years that's that's yeah that's, that's rough that, that's bro. A, that guy's a grower i'm sure <laughs> but honestly, like most female to males and even lesbians, like butch lesbians, I know, like I, I, I feel like a kinship with them because they've also put up with women's shit for far too long. And, you know, true. It, they, they have to deal with it every day. They, they're also beaten down by society. They're also gamers in my mind. So, yeah, yeah look forward to that in 2024 when all everybody is talking about is trans people. That That's that's the future we're heading towards, my gorillas. You're sick of it. I know we're all sick of it. I know we all want to move on to something else, but we're trapped in hell. I just I, I don't understand why he's he's choosing now. Like now, now is the good time to jump on the culture, the the culture war, like the trans issue, the rate, the the race stuff, like the like. It's not like this stuff didn't exist in 2016 and and well, and before. <laughs> and he's like, oh no, now now's a good time. Now that I've been resoundly voted out of office, and you know, it's it's pretty clear to me that these ideas now exist. You know what? No matter what you believe, these ideas are now not they're not the majority but now this well, is look, this is how he's gonna market himself and that's the thing is that you know we're young we're the progenitors of culture we've seen this stuff happening for years but the boomers are finally catching up and seeing what's going on and boy do they have some opinions on it and we're gonna be hearing it for the next two years instead of things that actually fucking matter yeah. I, I don't i don't care like about he, he was probably it. sitting at don't his, care he, he was probably sitting you know sitting around lounging about at one of the country clubs near Marlar, Marlar Lago, and he probably noticed you know, when he went to grab his towel boy's penis that there was nothing there. And he, <laughs> and he said, "What? What is this? What? What's what happening? What the hell is this?" <laughs>
<laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> so that's the future we have to look forward to. But you know, he he just did a cringe. But he's also kind of inspired. Uh, he has a, another new proposal where mm-hmm. he's over promising in uh classic Trump fashion. So let's go ahead and check that out and end out the show. So here we go. Our objective will be a quantum leap in the American standard of living. That's what will happen. Here are just a few of the ways we can do it. Almost one third of the land mass of the United States is owned by the federal government, with just a very, very small portion of that land, just a fraction, one half of 1%. Would you believe that? We should hold a contest to charter up to 10 new cities and award them to the best proposals for development. In other words, we'll actually build new cities in our country again. Oh. These freedom cities will reopen the frontier, reignite American imagination, and give hundreds of thousands of young people and other people, all hardworking families, a new shot at home ownership and, in fact, the American dream. Another big opportunity is in transportation. Dozens See, of if he runs hard on this, if he promises a future to these millennials who are fucking buck broken, that's how he wins. That's how that's how he gets support because people are like, oh yeah, you know, every city now is a shithole. You know, whatever city you make, it'll probably Let's take like you know one. 10, yeah. 20 years we're, to become a shithole too. I have a future, at least in the short term. Yeah, where where have all the bright minds been for the past, you know, couple of decades? to suggest an idea like this like you're you're so right all of our cities suck so much and yet nobody suggested just building a new one or building a couple you know a couple new you know what do you do what do you do you know what do you do when your your console's out of date it can't handle new games you go out and you buy a new console you know your your tires are worn out you go buy new tires now see what he's not going to mention is that these 10 cities are going to run adjacent to each other across the southern border and we'll have mega jails <laughs> like you know the ones in judge dread for anyone who crosses over yeah, he, he, that, that's a light detail to keep out. You know, he does, it, it's saying the quiet part out loud right there, Micah. And so, yeah, he, ha- he has this idea here of building new cities, you're building new infrastructure. If he becomes president, this is never going to happen, obviously. <laughs> no, not at all. He, he couldn't build a wall. He's not going to build all these cities. It's not happening. He's going to be fought all along the way. He doesn't have the acumen to sort through it. But he's always been an ideas guy. And we here yeah, at the Grillcast respect ideas guy. It's up to the nerds to figure out the fucking, you know, the the minor details. It's up the to the logistics. nerds. The logistics. That's for the nerds, not for the chads. So uh, let's see a little bit more about what, of his, what, what his ideas are to build this grand new society. These grand freedom cities, as he dubs them. Your companies in the United States and China are racing to develop vertical takeoff and landing vehicles for families and individuals. Just as the United States led the automotive revolution in the last century, I want to ensure that America, not China, leads this revolution in air mobility. These breakthroughs can transform commerce, bring a giant infusion of wealth into rural America, and connect families in our country in new ways. Likewise, through our strategic national manufacturing Dude, so initiative, which literally is- every boomer who hears that remembers watching the Jetsons as a kid and wanting a flying fucking car. They hear that. He's like, yeah, we're, we're going to build flying cars. And in Freedom City, there's going to be a woman who'll suck your dick every day and she's going to be hot. And they cream their pants, bro. They're like, yes, Donald, bring us to the new era. Let's fucking go, Donald, flying cars. It's never going to happen. But that's not the brilliance of Donald Trump. That's not what you should enjoy about can you him. You imagine, can you, him. I'm sorry. Can you imagine the average American just like trying to steer their vehicle through the air while like fumbling through a bag of McDonald's trying to eat at the same time? <laughs> Dude, can you imagine drunk driving a flying car? That rules so hard. And oh it's a, I want to believe in this dream. I want to believe in what he's laying out. I know it's a hoax. I, I know it's never going to happen, but it gives you something. 
to bite on. Yeah. It gives you something to say. It's better. Well, the future's uh, not so bleak. Yeah, and I'll give him. I'll give him this much. It's definitely better than you know what he's been running on, which is I was the president. Wasn't it great? Uh, let's <laughs> yeah. do it again. Right. He's definitely evolved out of his. Uh, you know, I it just got stolen from me, and like I was a great president, he's and a like I'm so again. awesome. He's, yeah, he's yeah, fabricating he's... amazing, you know, fanciful stories about you know what's going to happen if you elect him. He's he's being a politician again, right? And that's it, th- that's the Donald Trump we like to see these lofty ideals being thrown. Now he just needs a little peasants. bit of cocaine. You... And he'll be... <laughs> <laughs> little cocaine, little adrenochrome, you know, get that rolling in there. Yeah, tuck tuck that tuck that neck fat, you know, in a little lower. <laughs> <laughs> he just like tucks it under his tie. The, what, what is it? What is it called? The fucking <laughs> the gir- the the um, <laughs> like gobbles. On yeah, the, the chicken, th- chicken. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know what they're fucking called. They have a name. It's killing me. I'm not a I'm not a farmer, bro. But I I know what you're talking about there. I'm sure one of the gorillas will let us know in the comments that we're retarded. Yeah. But uh, Fair yeah. Enough. You know, I do. Do you want to continue this? No, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I have to pee really bad. So my grill is that's what Donald Trump is laying out for the future. We'll see if he runs on this. If this is the focus of what he's trying to do, rather than just trannies, 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 trannies being shoved down my goal at twenty four seven every which way, rightoids and left leftoids fighting a cultural war over something I don't give a shit about at all. If this is the future that he, he promises. He, you know, he's gonna get something. I, I think that he needs to make more ludicrous promises. Like he he needs he needs to ramp like amp up the ridiculous the levels of ridiculousness to to what he's saying he's going to achieve. Because at the very least, people know that he is going to attempt these things. Right. And and any you know above anything else, they might be interested in seeing him try. Bro, imagine this. He does like a video of him. It's just a cell phone video. It's not professional at all. It's just like off the cuff moment. He's in his bathroom with his golden toilet and he's like he has a bag of mcdonald's and he says if you elect me to president every american will have a golden toilet (laughs) everyone will be able to enjoy this immeasurable wealth that i have look at how based and cool it is you all want this you all want to be me you can be me uh, if he offers that to people, the golden toilet, where they can lay down their shit and Dude, piss I would and such. I would, if yeah. he told me I was going to get a golden toilet, I don't care if he's actually going to do it. That's that's amazing. You know, it'd probably be a half measure. Like, every American would get a can of gold spray paint in the mail and be like, <laughs> oh yeah, go nuts. Yeah, figure it out yourself. But it's, it's better than nothing. I don't have a gold toilet right now. Yeah, exactly. What are you going to give me? Huh? What are you, what are you offering? <laughs> Put it on the table. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? So that's where Trump's at. You know, we'll see. Things are going to be ramping up here. We're going to be seeing this new Republican 2024 primary election heating up. Oh, boy. I can't wait to see it personally because the last one, real fun to watch. And it seems like he still has a little bit of that fire inside of him. Will he be led astray? Is this? Will he be made to be be a cuckold? This is going to be the first real election uh, coverage arc. Yes, that's true. That's true. That's going to be great because it was... uh, it was not easy to find content for the show here today. We are in a new slump right now. Like, e- even this whole past month or two, like, oh, dude, did you know a train, like, spilled over in Ohio? I don't care <laughs> about that. I want to see drama. I want to see the high stakes action that we've been missing for years now. I want it. I, I want it. I don't think I you understand so how much right how now. much I was sitting around praying that John Fetterman s- succumbed to a stroke just so we could talk about it. <laughs> Yeah, John. Yeah, even though I own. love him, bless bless his heart. You know, I love the man. But like God, just something to talk about. God, if you're listening, please let John Fetterman die so I have something <laughs> to talk about on my podcast. Please, please, let me have something here. I love that Frankenstein retard. What a cool guy. Yeah. John Fetterman. But with that, my gorillas, we've done a lot today. We've talked about the difference between the upper and downer drug user. We've talked about the great cuckoff of 2023, the great cuckoff. We've talked about Donald Trump's newest policy positions. Wow, I feel learned. I feel big brain. Uh, I- I've been working out my brain here. It's feeling 
huge. It's cracking my skull right now. It hurts. It hurts. I feel my brain swelling, and it's definitely not off the withdrawal from the various downers I've been doing for the last two weeks. Uh, no. And if, if you've made it to the end of the episode, <laughs> go ahead and take a second. Give yourself a pat on the back because uh, you're a little bit better than you were an hour ago. I right. think you, you need to recognize that. You've improved yourself, and we love you for that. With that, Peace out, my gorilla. I'm old as a boomer. My mind said I'm zooming. Everything cool as long as I'm not Laura Loomer. If you think I'm not number one, I just spelled that rumor. Hit that victory point. Nice yeah, long some motherfucking coochie. Default dance on a bitch. Hit the default dance on a bitch. Floss dance while I'm flossing in the whip. Victory Royale, when that chop I hit. Self incrimination, I have no participation. News keep asking, I don't say shit. You can't have my conversation. Oh, and if you're still listening to this, if you're one of the Chads who listens after the credits, you know, after the credits roll. Ooh. If you're listening, I got a little bit of a uh, teaser here for you. We've been collecting that gum road money, and I have an investment that I'm going to put that in. You'll be seeing that soon, my gorillas, and you're going to love it.